come for you! Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and I am a shameless fan of getting free stuff. And what we have here today is some new worker product that was sent to me. And, um, from workerkit.com, I believe. And it's, it's really a full set for rewiring a, uh, strife, or rapid strike. It's the flywheel cage, the flywheels, and new motors. And now, I'm going to be using the flywheels and the flywheel cage today, but not the motors for... A number of reasons uh, that we will get into. The motors, um, I'm not sure exactly what size they would categorize, but they're larger than a 130, smaller than a 180. I don't, I think they might be larger than 132s though. They might actually be 132s. But as I understand it, they are in fact a 3S motor. And the blaster that I'm planning to upgrade today, for reasons that will become apparent very soon, is my um, HVZ Strifle. My Strifle Mark II with the underslung master key. I used this at Ragnar Oktoberfest as my primary, and uh, its need for upgrades became very, very apparent. Um, so, noise warning for anybody listening with headphones, you might want to pull them out of your ears. Here's what this thing sounds like right now. It's really quite horrific. Uh, and it, it's largely because I believe it has Artifact 132s that are actually uh, making contact with the shell, which causes the whole thing to rattle. Um, the motors work fine, it shoots beautifully, but it's very, very loud. And I want to try to fix that. I want to make it a little bit quieter. Actually, I want to make it a lot quieter. So I am going to try putting a pair of Fang revamps in here using this cage and these wheels and see what kind of a performance difference that makes. Now this is currently set up for 2S which is why I don't want to use these motors because I believe they are 3S and I, I don't like 3S battery cages and all of that. I prefer my Strife to be 2S and since there are plenty of 2S options out there I'm going to stick with that. Now the cage is a 42.5 crush cage. It's it's listed on there, so it is fairly high crush, so that's why I'm using the fangs instead of Michelle's, because I believe the fangs have more torque. Uh, and the wheels are, they're almost weightless. They are aluminum, they're beautifully milled, and they are incredibly light, but they also use the new um, plastic inserts rather than using the set screws, so they are much less likely to wobble loose. So I'm going to pull this thing open and swap out the current um, motors, flywheel cage, and flywheels with the new stuff. I will find a use for these. I'm not sure what. If you guys have any ideas of what I should definitely put these in, let me know. Maybe my swordfish. I might try them in my swordfish. Though it's also currently set up for 3S, but, uh, or for 2S. But actually, it's, it's wired for both. So I might give that a try just so I can test them out. But let's get this thing open and get it upgraded. That's definitely part of the problem. <laughs> the motors are actually loose. This was one of my earliest Strife mods, and uh, I didn't know what I was doing back then. And I definitely didn't have all the right tools yet. So, it's a wonder it works at all. Alright, while we wait for the soldering iron to heat up, I'm going to prep the new flywheel. <clears throat> motors and cage. Uh, a new tool that I recently got a hold of because somebody pointed out I was using the wrong stuff. I'd just been using super glue to tack in the screws and somebody pointed out or uh, asked me why aren't you using thread locker and I had no answer for that so they uh, sent me the link and I actually finally got actual Loctite thread locker instead of super glue so uh, I highly recommend it. Let's get it together and see if it'll still actually fling the bone. And that is so much quieter. Uh, 
That is lovely. Now, it's getting too dark to chrono, but I am curious what it's chronoing in at, and I will figure that out to make sure that I haven't inadvertently made it hit harder than is allowed in any of the places that I want to use this. If I have, well, I will simply have to downgrade it in some manner, maybe switch down to Michelle twos or something like that. Well, that actually came. Huh. So the, uh, this end of the flywheel cage on the new one is different. It's got two different sizes and one is deeper than the other and neither is quite as deep as this one is. So this blaster actually has a brass guide in there but it's not going as deep as it used to, which means it's interfacing with this, which it's actually resulting in a, uh, a tighter barrel fit. This had a tendency to get a little wobbly and uh, kind of fall off, and that is no longer the case. So that's a neat, neat feature. All right, I'm going to go fire a few rounds down the range just to see what kind of range I'm getting, which should give me a vague indicator of uh, power. All right, well, it is definitely not overpowered. It does still hit upwards of 80 feet. Uh, though it's not as accurate as it could be at those ranges, though flywheel often isn't. At close range, it's, it's fine, and since this is an HVZ blaster, close range is generally what you're going to be dealing with. And, um, yeah, this will continue to be my primary HVZ for my lighter loadouts, like I ran at um, Ragnar Oktoberfest. I didn't bring out the heavy loadout until I got to the final stand, at which point I was using... Friga. Iyer would still be my go-to blaster for heavy HVZ loadouts because it is the beefier, more powerful blaster. But this one was definitely good for um, Ragnar Oktoberfest because it you know met the FPS limit. It also gave me Mega so I could take out Supers, which is uh, a huge advantage because that was an issue that we had with uh, Spitters and uh, Hive Mines and, and all sorts of other specials that were out there. So yeah, Definitely pleased with that cage and wheel combination. Um, it would definitely be more powerful with the, the motors that were designed to go with it, but other people have tried that combination already. If you're not sure, uh, I'm pretty sure Walcom did a build using them and uh, seemed to think they were fantastic, if I recall. I should probably watch the video before I, you know, tell you what he says. But um, I can't imagine it wasn't fantastic because I, I definitely liked it. So, yeah. Workers, new cage and flywheels. I've always liked their aluminum flywheel setup. I've used their wheels in a lot of my builds. Um, definitely need to take those wheels off and tighten that up. Um, put this back in something and see if I can't make it not be horribly noisy. Um, and I definitely need to figure out what I need to put these in. So let me let me know what you guys think I should put these worker ones in. I may go ahead and get another set of the cage and wheels to try with the actual motors. They do come with the wires, all of the wires necessary to wire it up for a um, semi-auto. They've got the, the two wires that are cut for the motors, and then they've got the one from the battery to the switch, and then they've got from the switch and from the negative lead all the way. So they're already pre-cut to the right length. That is really cool that they do that. It's also really cool that they provide you with not only the screws, but double the number of screws necessary. Uh, that's just uncommonly charitable of them really that it really makes it easier to to be able to install those so new parts by worker check them out at workerkit.com or nf strike light take probably carries them too banggood probably has them um but there's lots of places you can get them and they are quite fantastic i will have links down in the description um for the ones that were sent to me but any of those ones that you prefer you can find them so there you have it new parts uh, and uh, they seem to work great. They definitely install nicely, and I love the look of them. They're so pretty. They would look great in blasters where you have clear sides, either the clear motor um, motor cover, or some people even put a window on the other side. These would look gorgeous in those. That 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 anodized black, just beautiful. So there is my take on that. Thank you so much for sending me them, and thank you guys for watching.